What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So this is the first video in a series of videos that I'll be doing called Coffee with TEC. So I have my cup of coffee here. Let me just show you guys. There we go. UNLV, that is the college that I attended. You guys, some people did ask me why I had that. I had it sitting up here. Um, they were wondering why is that mug sitting up there, the UNLV mug? Well, I attended UNLV, so... Uh, that's why I have this mug. And so nonetheless, what we're doing here is this is going to be story time. I'm going to kind of share some of the stories that uh, that, I, that I've had in the past and some things that have just recently happened. So I'm going to kind of share a little bit more of my life with you guys. Uh, so I decided coffee with TEC sounds appropriate. And I know on this channel, we always talk about Social Security. We talk about retirement and we talk about some other things. But we don't, you guys don't really get to know anything more about me. So I do want to share some stories with you guys. And that's, that's why we're going to have this series of videos. So I'm not going to do these every day, but I will do these. Okay, I will do these videos. So make sure you like this video. That way it'll, the algorithm will like the video and hopefully promote it out to more people. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification and then click all. That way you'll get all the notifications that come out. And then when you see Coffee with, with TEC, you're, you'll know that I want to talk to you guys about something that, that's happened in my life. Okay, so before we get started, before we get started, I have to share with you guys this. Now, this is not, I'm not being sponsored by, by Costco or anything like this, but I went to Costco, this is about two weeks ago, I went to Costco, and this is what I found. So they have... Pumpkin Spice, Pumpkin Spice, um, Jose's Coffee. Now, I like Jose's Coffee already. Uh, I like the, uh, God, it smells so good. <laughs> I like the, the vanilla, vanilla nut, I think it's called. I've been drinking that for, for a few years now. But when I saw this Pumpkin Spice, I just, I had to get it. And it's, I think it's, I think it's about $13, 13 or $14. But uh, there you go. I mean, this is... Man, I've, I've been drinking this. I actually went back to uh, Costco. So I went, the, the first time that I went, this is one thing, this is one, I, I, I love Costco, okay? That's one thing. <laughs> right, off, right off the bat, I love Costco. I go there at least once a week. But the, the one thing that I do not like about Costco, and they do this deliberately. Actually, there's two things that I don't like. They, they don't, sometimes they only have things for a limited time. And obviously, this is pumpkin spice, so this is a limited time, okay? So I, I understand that. So sometimes they have things for a limited, uh, limited time, and they go away, and they're gone. And so I don't like that. I don't like that it's, that it's limited time. Some of this stuff is limited time, and, and you don't always know when it's a limited time uh, thing. So I know there's, you can look at the SKU and all the, the, the price uh, uh, numbers on the, the, you know, how much it costs and everything. I don't really get into all that. Maybe I should because I like to know. Sometimes I see things at Costco and I'm thinking, oh, I have to buy it now because I don't know if it's going to be there next week. Uh, so they do that. And then they also move things around the store. And so you might find something. Like I found this. The, the first time that I went, I got two, two bags because I knew, okay, I know kind of how Costco is. But then when I went back to get some more, it wasn't in the same spot. It was somewhere else. They moved it to another area. And so they do that as well. And so I don't like that. I, I don't like it, but it, in, in, in Costco has said they, they like to move the, the products around because it makes you explore more of the store. So if they still have it, you can ask someone, yeah, you know, where's, where's the, the coffee? And they'll say, oh, it's over here. If you want to find it, it's probably on this end cap or what have you. So nonetheless, that's, that's one thing or two things that I don't like about Costco, but I went there, I got the, the first, uh, the, I got two bags, and then I went back and I got two more bags. And I'll probably go back before the holiday, before Thanksgiving, and get another two bags and then just have it so I can drink it uh, throughout uh, all, all next year until, until the holidays again, and then, then I can get some more. But let's hope I can get some more if, they, if they're selling it. But anyway, um, let, let's, let, I want to talk about the story. That this happened to me, this happened to me two weeks ago. So uh, you guys know I went to Columbia. I came back. I was getting settled in. I, I'd been back. I'd been back for a couple of weeks, and I, I was getting some construction done on my on my house. Okay, and so I noticed. I well, first thing that I noticed when I came home. The first thing I do when I come home, I always I always go around the house and make sure everything is okay. 
Um, and so that's what I did. I went through the garage, made sure there was everything okay, went through the backyard. And then the side of my house, I have a, a crawl space that goes under the kitchen. Uh, so the kitchen and the and the living room. And so I noticed the the little door and it's not it's not hammered in or anything like that but there's a little door that's on the crawl space and it's a small little door it's it's big enough for for someone to fit inside but uh, it's not that big and so I noticed that that was open but I was thinking it just fell over it looked like it just fell over right and so I didn't think anything of it went ahead and put it uh, back in its place and then I would say about a week later I started hearing noises and I started hearing noises, and it, it, it sounded like it was in the, in the vents somewhere, okay? And it would just be at late at night. Late, late at night. A lot of times I'm out, I'm shooting videos late, late at night, or I might be watching TV uh, late at night, and I started hearing these noises. And it wasn't anything really like a, a loud noise or anything like that, but it was a little, you know, you could hear kind of like movement, and so I'm thinking, okay, well, what's going on? <laughs> like, why am I hearing this? Is it, you know, is it, a, is it, is it a rat? Is it, is it uh, lizards? We have a lot of lizards where I live. And so I was thinking, what is it? What is, what is in this, in, in the, in the vents? And so I didn't think too much of it. I'm thinking, you know what? Okay, well, we'll deal with it. You know, I'd been back already two weeks and I was dealing with the, with this construction being done and all that. So, I wasn't too concerned with with the noise at the at that current time, and so three days go by, and every night for those three days, I would I would get up, it'd be late at night, and I, I would shoot a video or, or do something, and I would hear noise, but I would only hear it for maybe like ten seconds, and then it would go away, and then after that, then I, you know I didn't hear it anymore, so I'm just thinking, okay, so I, I don't know, it, it didn't sound to me like it was an animal or anything moving around because it, it would all, I would only hear it for a fraction of the time and then it would be gone. I'm thinking, okay, maybe there's something loose that's, that's uh, moving around because of the construction and stuff. So on that third day, uh, third night, I should say, that I heard this, I, I started thinking, okay, well, you know what? Let me find out. Let me get my flashlight and kind of look around and see if I can at least determine where this is coming from, where the, because I could hear it kind of in the vents, but I didn't know exactly where it was. And I'm downstairs. I have two stories. So I'm downstairs at the time and I hear the noise. And so I get up and I had my flashlight. And so I'm walking around, I'm looking and I'm trying, I'm looking through the vents and, you know, looking at the vents to try to s determine where it was coming from. And right at my stairway. So I, like I said, I have a crawl space. So I have like three steps that you step up and you get into the kitchen. So right there, there's another vent. And so I look at that vent, but I'm not looking directly into the vent. I'm actually standing off to the side and I'm looking down at the vent. Uh, so I'm standing up on the stairs. The vent is kind of like right in between those three little steps. And so I'm looking down and I see nails. I see like, and I'm thinking it's like cat, like cat nails. This is, it's big, right? Whatever it is, it's, it's large. And I see these nails coming through the actual vent. Um, and of course, I'm like, what the, <laughs> what the heck is that? And so what I did is, I had, since I had my flashlight and I saw it kind of like clawing and the nails were coming through, coming through the, um, uh, the vent. And so I... Went back, you know, went down the three little steps, and then I looked in, and I could look. And you know how the vents they're they're kind of slotted, but you can't just look straight in because you you won't be able to see anything. You have to kind of look up, and so I'm trying to look up. And if you can imagine, I'm on the stairs. I'm trying to look up so I can see what's in the vent, but I really couldn't. I couldn't see anything, right? And so uh, what I did is I said, okay, I'm not getting close to this vent because whatever that thing is, it has long, I mean, I'm talking long nails, like long, sharp nails. You could see them. Um, or I, I could see them. Actually, the nails, they, they, you know, whatever the thing, it was, it was using the nails and then it, and then it stopped uh, when I got close enough because it realized that, that I was there. It couldn't see me at first because I was standing off to the side and that's when you could see the nails. But when it saw me, then it, it, back, back, it went back. And so what I did is I got my phone and I said, okay, well, let me, I can, I'll put my phone up close to it. I could put it up underneath the vent and shoot up, you know, take a picture up. And so that's what I did. I took a picture, didn't see anything. 
then took another picture, and I saw, I saw this. And so it was a possum. And so this is a pretty big possum that was, that was in the vent. And I don't know anything about, about this house as far as how the vents work and where they go and everything. But clearly, it, it was stuck in the vent. It couldn't get out, or at least it looked like it couldn't get out. And so now I'm thinking, okay, and th- this, is, this is like one in the morning, okay, that I, that, I, that I discovered this. And so I'm thinking, okay, well, what, what are my options? You know, of course, the first thing I thought was, well, maybe I should just try to like let it out because I, I can unscrew the vent and then, you know, let it run out. But then I'm thinking, you know what, it's just me and it would have to run through my family room in order to get out the door. And what if it doesn't, what if it doesn't cooperate? And run right out. It starts running around the house, and now I got another, uh, uh, another, a bigger issue. And so I said, "Okay, you know what? I'm not going to do anything right now. I'll deal with it in the morning." And so I went, sat back down, shot a video, started editing the video. Didn't hear any noise. It's probably about 30 minutes later. So I said, "You know what? I want to check to see if it's still in the vent." And so I go over to the vent again. I look in. I don't see anything. I take pictures. I don't see anything in that vent. And that vent, actually, you could see all the way, because it was a, a, like a big vent, you can see all the way to the back. So I could see if there was anything that was actually in the, in the vent, right? And so I'm thinking, okay, well, it's not in the vent anymore. Now, now where is it, you know? And so what I did is, I, after that, I, I went and sat back down again. I'm thinking, okay, well, what am I going to do now? I mean, it's, it's not in the vent anymore, but I know it's here, so I, I need to call, like, pest control so they can, they can take care of it. Because initially I was thinking, if it stays in that vent, I'm going to call up my buddies tomorrow and say, hey, let's, you know, I got a project for, <laughs> for you to help me with, and we were going to try to get it out uh, on our own. And then I started thinking, after I, after I thought about that, I started thinking, I'm not sure if it's a possum. It could be a possum. It could be a skunk. If it's a skunk, I'm not dealing with it, right? So I didn't know exactly what it was. All I could see was that picture that I, that I showed you guys. All I could see was kind of the nose and the eyes. And I mean, skunks, and I mean, I couldn't really decipher if it was black and white or, you know, I couldn't see all that. All I could see was the nose and, 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 the, and the eyes. So I didn't know if it was a skunk or not, or I didn't know if it was a possum. I didn't know what it was. And so then I started thinking, you know what, it's just better for me to call professionals to come out and, and take care of this. And so I sit back down and I'm on the computer and I'm looking for different pest control um, companies. And then I hear a, a noise, a, a big noise in the garage, right? And downstairs, I'm right near the garage so I can hear what, what's going on out there. And I hear this, you know, just a large, big noise, right? Like something fell, basically. And so I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe it's in the garage. And so I have cameras throughout my house. I have cameras everywhere. And so I was able to pull up the camera for the garage. Sure enough, it's in the garage. And so I didn't even have to go out there to know that it was in the garage because I could see it on the camera. And so like I said, I was, I was, I was you know, had construction going on in the garage and there's some open walls. They, they had to tear some stuff up. So there's some, I shouldn't say tear some stuff up, but they had to break some stuff down. So there's some open walls in there. Uh, and so apparently the possum was able to find a way out through the, you know, through the, the uh, vents and all that and then and find its way into the garage. So now it's in the garage and I know it's in the garage. And so I open the garage door. And the thing is, when I opened the garage door, I actually, because I only had one camera on the, on the garage, I had to get out of that camera and then open up the garage because I didn't have, like, I have it on my phone, but I don't have the remote. The remote is in my car. And so I had to flip, flip away from the screen so I couldn't see if the possum actually went out, you know, left when I opened the garage. But I also have cameras on the outside, and I'm looking at those cameras, and I don't see it. I don't see it, uh, you know, like I basically what I did is I opened the garage and then I went back to the cameras and I didn't see anything. And then I closed the garage. I left it open for a couple minutes and then closed it. And mind you, it's like two in the morning, right? So I do that. And then I don't know if the possum is in the garage still or if it actually left because I didn't see it. So I'm running back my, my, my video feed uh, from outside to see if any possum ran out and I don't see anything. 
And so finally, I said, okay, well, I don't think it's gone. So anyway, I went in the garage myself with a flashlight, start making a bunch of noise, you know, open the garage door, making a bunch of noise. And you know, you know how possums are. Possums, if they get scared, they, they play dead. So if I'm out there making a bunch of noise, it's just going to play dead. It's not going to run away. It's just going to stay. It's going to act like it's, it's dead. And so I'm making a bunch of noise. Nothing happens. I'm thinking, okay, what is going on now? I don't know if it's in here, if it's not in here. Uh, it's now, you know, approaching 2.30 in the morning, and I want this thing out. I don't want to have to deal with this in the morning. I want it out, and I don't want it to run back into the vents again. I want it to actually leave. And so anyway, I come back in, and I start editing my videos again, and now I have this screen up, the, the garage, so I can see it. And then I pull up another screen of the garage door, uh, the outside. So I have like a, a camera that's facing outside so I can see uh, the right over the, the garage door from the outside, right? And so I'm editing video, and then I see it again in the garage. It runs across, and I'm thinking, okay, I got them. I open up the garage door. Now I'm watching. I could watch the cameras because I have an, another, another camera on another screen, and I don't see it leave. And so then I go back, and it, it still hasn't left because I didn't see it leave the garage. So I'm thinking, what is wrong with this thing? You know, why isn't this possum leaving? I'm giving it an opportunity to leave, and it's not leaving. And so at that point, I said, okay, close the garage again. And I said, okay, hopefully I'll be able to see it again if, it, if it's still in there. And so I'd say about 20 more minutes go by. It's already you know past 3 in the morning. And then I see the possum again. And so this time I opened the garage again. As soon as I saw it, I opened the garage. And what it was doing is it was running from one side of my garage to the other side of my garage. It just kept going back and forth. Uh, so that last time... I was able to open the garage as it was like in the middle of the, of the garage. So it's running from one side to the other. It was in the middle. I opened the garage, and then I could see it leave through the other camera. So I'm like, yes, it left. I'm, I'm, I'm happy now. <laughs> and so you know, I'm struggling with this, with this whole possum thing. Uh, but it was good to see that it actually left, and it just kind of went down, went up underneath my car first. And then uh, after that, then it uh, ran down into the – the 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 sidewalk and got in the 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 curb right where the curb is where the gutter is and just kind of ran uh, down the side there and then took off across the street and went to a neighbor's uh, house looks like and then just kept kept going uh, down the street and so apparently what probably happened is that possum had been there for probably a month it could have been a month or two uh, who knows uh, while I was gone while I was on vacation this possum moved in and that's why I didn't want to leave right away. Like I was trying to get it to leave and it didn't want to leave. It was like, Hey, this is my house. What are you doing here? And I'm thinking, no, this is my house. I pay the mortgage here. So it was just, it was, it was just interesting. I, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, but yeah, that's the first time I've ever had a possum. The last time I went on vacation and came back, I was gone for two months. I came back and there was a lizard in my, in my family room. Uh, as soon as I walked in, this lizard just scrambles uh, through the and, and so I it was that was easy. I just and it's a small lizard, it's not too big, probably about that big. I was able to let it out. It went you know it ran uh, ran out right away. But uh, this was a little bit a uh, little bit bigger. So now I'm I'm buying all those uh, you know those I don't even know what they call them, but the pest control plugs where you plug in it has some kind of frequency that that uh, pests don't like. So I'm, I'm plugging those in everywhere uh, now. And I think the whole situation of the construction that was going on and some of the construction was in the garage. And I think that just really scared this, this possum. And that's why I jumped into the vents and, um, and that, and, you know, I pretty much, it was living there and then it got startled because of all the noise and everything that was going on. And so <laughs> that's why it would start making noise. Um, so anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys have stories similar to this, when it comes to a possum or it comes to animals being in your house, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And remember, we're going to be doing more of these coffee with TEC in the future. Subscribe for more. Talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.